This could be one of our most anticipated videos ever. Happy Sunday and welcome to the next 100 tour. Now I started using a set of copper Tacomos just a couple of months ago. They were prototype irons and the comment section in my videos went crazy. So as you can imagine, how excited are we to introduce the limited edition Tacomo 301 Next 100 irons. Guys, there's gonna be a hundred versions of these sets. They are on sale now and they're gonna go very quickly. Let me show you exactly what you do get in here if you're lucky enough to get a set because I can't wait. We're actually at a very, very special venue today as well for this next 100 tour. We'll explain all in just a moment's time, but I need to film me the knife, don't I, Chris? Let's see exactly what these look like. So I really enjoyed the prototype irons, and as you can see, these come with that gorgeous copper finish. And not only that, we have a black limited edition KBS tour shaft and a lovely gray lampkin utx grip on these irons these are available now we'll put the link in the description below we are at the gorgeous huddersfield golf club where i started my journey on this youtube career funnily enough five years ago now this isn't in the next 100 we weren't allowed in a couple of the places so we're going to do a couple of episodes where places should be in the next 100 i think this should be in the next 100 it was in the next 100 before and today we are of course using the seed sd X1 golf ball, three piece European golf ball, budget ball. Let's get out there on the first tee and let's see if these bad boys can get us up that leaderboard. This is really cool. So if you look on the hosel, should have probably mentioned this earlier, as say next 100, but yours will say a number out of 100. There's 100 sets to represent each course that we're going to play in this series. I think that is mega cool. And here we are on the first tee at Huddersfield Golf Club. This brings back so many memories. Chris, how are you? Very good, yourself? I'm so excited. This is a, a very special episode as we've already preluded to, because check out, oh, out of the box and out of the wrapper, they look incredible, don't they? They do. They Fantastic. might have already sold out as well, so people just want to uh, go check out the link in the description if they want them. 100 sets numbered for each venue. Zero, zero, 001 to one. If whoever zero, gets zero. the elusive, whoever gets the zero, zero, 001, tag us, take, take a few pictures because they could be worth some big money one day. They could. First ones. First hole, Huddersfield Golf Club, par four, one of the hardest holes in the golf course, 465 yards, stroke index nine, a huge bunker that hopefully won't come into play today, and a very, very narrow green with a central flag. Chris, I will let you lead us off, sir. Nice, just a bit to the right, keep drawing in. Keep coming. Yeah, it's took a nice bounce as well. That's just in that right hand rough. Hmm. We haven't got Bobby. Where's Bobby, Chris? Bobby's rock climbing. Decided that is more important of his morning today. Right, 10 under to beat. We're gonna need to dovetail nicely. That's a good shot. You know, I always used to dread this tee shot and I've just absolutely nailed that. That, that could be very is. nice. So I can't tell you all how good it feels to be back here. I used to film here every day of my life. I worked here under Alex for so many years and had some really fantastic times actually. So this course used to be in the next 100. It used to be in the Canada 100 above the best 100 in the country. I think it's been overtaken since because it's obviously not in there now. But this certainly is a shout to get back in there. There's a couple of courses that don't want us on there, don't want us to film, and that's absolutely fine. If they want to keep that course to themselves and to their members, that's totally up to them. It's a shame that it would be graded in a list and then not really be able to go and play it, but that's neither here nor there. My ball's still found the left hand rough, even after all this time. Ah, this is literally like my, my prime, where I just used to hit it all the time. Skirting down this bank. I mean, I had the prototypes of these, so I know what to expect, but this finish looks even better. And if you buy them, they'll have the etching on there on the, on the heel or the toe. These look really good, you know. How good does that look? Fantastic, I'm just trying to get the cover off mine. Oh, that's left, Chris. Whoa! That was all over the greenkeeper, wasn't it? They do look good with the black shafts. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Be good. Go on. Just short, Chris. Probably needed the six. Yeah, it wasn't the uh, fiercest of strikes. Whoa. 
Okay, always a difficult hole this actually here, the first at Fixby or at Huddersfield Golf Club. Um, Chris is just short, so we're going to take that one, see if we can potentially try and chip in. I my, my anxiety was playing up there, Chris. I didn't want to take the bloke out. Well, that's what I thought, to be honest. Breaks right to left when it lands, Chris. All right. Nice. Go on. Go on. Oh. Well, that'll what do it. Effort. It's positive to start with. Well, that's the four that guaranteed. Right, you can go for it. Not the guy. Oh, nice. They're two great shots, aren't they? Two good chips to start with. We've got his feel. Yeah, and that's one of the hardest holes. I think when you're not loose, it's early in the morning. Take a par on that. Right, I'll finish that off, Chris. Four. SD X1 today in the bag. Beautiful. Okay, second hole, a gorgeous slight dog leg to the right, although can be deceptive off the tee. This hazard shouldn't come into play that we have to go over just 330 yards, stroke index nine, which means that obviously got the stroke index wrong on the first hole. Those bunkers shouldn't come into play. An incredibly well bunker green with another central flag. 10 under to beat. We need to start making some birdies. Oh, that's delightful. That's just the ball flight you want. Right hand rough, but we'll take that. That will do. Where's the pin? Middle. Probably should have looked earlier. Interesting hole this, because you don't really need to be that far up. A lot of people don't hit driver here in the summer. Oh, what a ball. It's going to be one of those days, Chris. Oh. One of those. That's massive, by the way. Massive. It's unheard of. Unseen. What about for a strike? Oh, fierce. Right, quite blustery conditions here. This is the first episode of the next 100 we've actually filmed this year, so we've kind of put this in the middle of the episode so far. Fantastic condition here at Huddersfield, but a very, very difficult day. It's probably the most difficult day we've had. Apart from Gull and Wait, hammered it down. I think Gull and Wait was spitting. Oh, I've put 50 on him here. The child is that. back. What did we get for an own ball birdie today, Chris? A bovril. After the pub later, a bovril to warm up. Station on the way home. <sighs> Lift yourself, bovril. Shows you just how accurate you've got to be to hit this fairway because that, I thought, mm. was perfect. Five. The pitching, look at the finish on this. I absolutely love the finish on my prototype irons, but the finish on these is absolutely next level. Wow. Right, 80 yards. Wind heavy off left. Be good. Nice flight. Be good. I gotta go. That stopped absolutely on a dime, didn't it? Playing a bit longer, playing probably a hundred. Nice. There we go. Come on, be the club. Yeah, great shot, Chris. There to be flag high. Yeah, tough. Man, just tough wind. Stop dead on this upslope. Right, this was the first birdie of the day. Fantastic shot in here, Chris. Tell me like how you can see just how windy it is. Apologies if the audio is suffering, but as you can see, we are right on top of the world, it seems, up here on the second green. Just roll her in, Chris. Right. What putter have we got this week? Because uh, putter's well, been interesting logic for you, hasn't it, in this series? I've got the AI smoke driver. I haven't got the AI AI ones. 6T. Been a while since I picked a club up, so I forgot. Right. Being on the allotment. In the allotting. What should I grow? Stay up, stay up. Oh, what an effort. Great effort. Oh. How could it miss? He was after it. It was the early step, wasn't it? It was. Early step. Ah. Okay, third hole, the first par five, 500 yards down the hill off this winter tee. Stroke index 17, the easiest hole, potentially second easiest, should I say, on this golf course. Slight dog leg to the left, but if you take the corner on, that shouldn't come into play. And a bunker just at your approach distance into this par five. Can we try getting this green in two? It shouldn't play too long downhill, downwind. It's a great strike, it might be a little bit too far right. The wind's touching it though. 
Not sure. I'm going to go quite a long way left of that, over the trees and far away. That's down the other fairway, but that's going to be massive. I reckon we might be all right there, you know. Well, we're going to have to be. different line. We're going to have to be. Right, trudging down uh, the opposite fairway. I'd love to say this is a new thing, but it's not new to me. I've done this quite often down this hole. You don't really want to go where Chris has gone over to the right. And uh, if we can get enough loft on it, we should be able to go over those trees and even get near the green in two. Does this count as a fairway hit? I think so. I'm going to go with the Nine Iron. The Nine Iron is the only club that we've not taken properly out of the wrapper yet. And these just look so good. Obviously, they are a CB set, so the short irons are bladed. Gorgeous. You going wedge? I'm going wedge. Straight through. It's not, it's not the line I predicted with a wedge. So that's on a down slope, isn't it? Which yeah. makes it a bit, a bit more difficult. Not an easy shot. Oh, it is for that, man. Bang on line. Carry the bunker. I think that's good, you know. I think it has carried it. I absolutely damien it, but it came out a low spinner. I think it's ran round more than carried. Right, mine's just down to the left. Chris, yours, I think yours made it past the trees. I know it didn't because we saw it, but it wasn't your best stuff. So this no. is a chip for a Stephen, or an eagle. Stephen Seagull, eagle, on screen now. Bobby would be putting it on screen, but he's, uh, he's having the day off, he's Bobby, so. Climbing. Right, I'm gonna go 60 here and just try and get a little bit of spin. We've got Skyforger 001. Not the best lie, but plenty of bounds here just to help us. I wonder if the bronze finished Skyforger will be next. Imagine, Oof. or a copper to match the irons even. Ooh, positive. It's just not lying very nice to be honest. It was that or duff it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chris. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. It's not nice down here. Oh, oh. travesty. It's funny, you know, down here where you're a little bit covered, the wind's not as bad, is it? No, it's all right down here. It's glorious down here. Place the to first be. birdie of the day. On the move. This way. Oh, never in doubt. One under. Come on. And we are off the mark. The start of the birdie train, it has left the station one under par. I mean, quite reachable. We've hit a 9 iron to the par 5, really, and then oh. add a couple of chips to it. But now this gorgeous par 3, fourth hole, 166 yards from a slightly forward winter tee, but not too far forward. Stroke index 13. Look at those bunkers there looking to gobble up your ball. Gobble up. Back flag. Like a turkey. What are we going with? Seven. Let's just take a second just to... Embrace it. Oh, I look, so it's actually, it's a slightly different finish to the prototypes I had. We've not got the finish inside the grooves either. So really, really nice looking. And obviously the black KBS shaft and that Lampkin UTX grip really complements it nicely as well. 100 sets, are they gone? N100T. What a time it'd be to have your first hole in one. Oh yeah, fresh club, fresh ball. Well, used ball. Tell you what, it's not looking bad. Yeah, safely yeah. aboard. And I got above the wind, didn't it? Terrible swing, but it'll do. I'm just going to aim at that left bunker and let the wind bring it. Bring it back. That's a great shot. That is. See the club. Right at it. Ooh, it's right on line. Fantastic <laughs> shot. No zoom. No Bobby. No zoom. Oh no, Bobby. No zoom. 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 Right, Chris is just short right, some nice stoppage there. And mine just needed a bit more of that ridge, didn't it? Mm, took it out of it, I think. Where do you reckon for the first own ball birdie? Just the outside day? the left, I think. Not much in it on this upper tier. It does, you know, I thought it was the other way, but it does. Let's pace that a bit firmer and she was in. Come on, Chris. Keep the keep the trainer rolling. We've only just left the station. Must be. Must be. Oh, Chris. It's a yours turn. Robbed. Nothing. The train has stopped. The station. Another par five, fifth hole. This is stroke index one, the hardest hole in the golf course. All uphill into the teeth of the wind. The bunker shouldn't really come into play. And an incredibly well bunkered green. 
for potentially what's going to be a difficult third shot in to this beast of a hole. Chris, I'll let you lead us off. We need a big drive here. He slipped, but it's the perfect line. <laughs> slipped Great into shot. a divot. Well, I'll do up there. Feels like a bit of a slog today, Chris, doesn't it? It does. It feels does difficult. Feel tougher than Golan. Oh, that's a good one. Just a slide around that corner. That was a little worker. Oh. Well, that's a big old drive for me into this what's now gale force wind. It is gale force. Stay there. Try to keep it bullet low. Nice. Not your lowest, but position A. Position A. 100 yards. I've got a seven iron. <laughs> and what a seven iron it is, Chris. Just short. Up there, it'll do. Right. Really pleased just with the greening reg there, to be honest. Yeah, pitch just there, we'll repair that in a second. For a bird. I think this is going to break on the wind, you know. Bird. Maybe not. Good Out. roll. I'm going to have to take some evasive action about this hood. Oh, yeah. You're in. In. The old hunchback. Hunchback, but at least it's not blowing. Turn. Oh. oh. If only the putt matched the camera skills. Oh. Another Dear. par. Over the edge. Okay, sixth hole, 350 yards into that strong breeze. Again, stroke index seven. The bunkers will come into play today if you do hit drive up the left hand side. Maybe you can see the do stagger up to the right as well. This flag is dangerous. You do not want to go along of this flag. Let's get a driving position first, just up the right hand side and open it up. I think we can safely aim left and the wind will bring it back. Sheet Sheila's late for a tea time. Uh, over to you. <laughs> that wasn't the best. Oh, you've got the same problem as me now. Nice, that's better. Still going to be in the rough, but much better line than mine. Good drive, Christopher. Unfortunately, it is a new seed for me. A fresh -y. A fresh one. So you don't want to go along here. No. That's a... The wind's just a little bit left. Held that up, hasn't it? It's not a bad shot, actually. It'll do. But tell you what, first look at the irons in the sun. Let's have a look. Gorgeous in the sun. I think they actually feel a little bit softer than my prototypes as well, you know. They do feel buttery soft. Uh, what did you play that at 120? If that's the saying. Uh, yeah. That looks good. Be the club. Be the club. The line. Ah. Uh, come back. It's got to come back. Beautiful shot. Oh. Delightful. Indeed. Delightful. We need it though. We're only one under. Right. Kick Came back up. a bit, but not as much as we wanted. I did say you can't go long here. I mean, this isn't an easy putt at all. No. Downhill. Plenty of spin there with the fresh ZX1. Yeah. Turn, turn. Oh, over the edge again. Edge of glory. Treacherous even in winter, that putt. Yeah. Come on, we need this, Chris. A slow front nine. Go on then. You know what the wind tried, didn't it? it tried to block it. Tried to block it. Whoa. Two under, even in these gale force conditions. Two under par, seven pole, 361 yard par four, stroke index 15. This is a very interesting one because you can see those two bunkers just below you, then it takes a sharp left down towards the green. It's into the wind off the right today. We could 
try and get there with driver. Chris, what are you going with? Driver. 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 Give it a go. I always remember this being a tough hole. I can't believe it. Stroke index 15. It's a great strike, but it needed to be further left. Oh Probably be in play. Well, I struck it well. Yeah, be in play. I'll go drive. A better line. That's, it's not perfect, but it's definitely more in play. <laughs> Which is positive. <laughs> They've got to be positive, Chris, haven't we? Let's get down there. We need a bird. We need a bird. Right, Chris, yours is actually in the fairway. It shows you how strong the wind is from back there, and mine's all the way down there. So I think we'll take that one, try and get close to a bird. Eh? No seeds down on this hole. Well, I, I was worried. I was worried. Oh, that, that may Perfect work. drive. Perfect drive. Position A1. I think it might just be another little chippy pitching wedge as well the set guys comment below have you managed to cop a set did you manage uh -huh. to get in there for the first 100 sets i dare say this video has been going half an hour they might be gone i think they could be gone yeah Only you, you pitching wedge in as well i'll pitch in wedge as well i'll send one in for own, own ball birdie right get one in for your own ball birdie chance i'm thinking a little drawy one you know so it lands and then releases to the left I lost it in the sun, however... Yeah, it was a drawy one, it's just left, left of the flag, look. Yeah, not Probably bad a at all. 15 footer. Right, anything inside that ball, Chris, realistically. How far did you play it as? Uh, 90. That's left, I think. Yeah. I just left. That. Struck that delightfully as well. I <laughs> bruised the turf. Bruised the turf. Let's have a look at that again. Oh, glorious, glorious! I'll tell you what, Chris, that's a hole in one flag if ever I've seen one on the next. Into, Just at the bottom of that slope. Into the breeze, short Chris hole. And, Chris and your duck, as it were. Oof. With this club, I think. Right, the own ball birdie is on. Lovely shot, that, actually. It pitched perfectly and just. Released that maybe a bit too much. If it would have landed where I wanted it to there, it would have been the perfect Time was shot. perfect if it wasn't left. <laughs> Is it left to right? Yeah. All that pace nice here. roll. A little bit uphill. All that pace. Just took a jump, didn't it? It did. That's the own baller out. Right. No San Miguel in the station for me. I thought you were off the Migs. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, Christopher. Get in. Mamos. Put us finally working. I know, I finally found the one, maybe. This is the one. Who sang that? Good question. The Stone Roses. Oh, the Stone Roses sang that, didn't you? Funny Wait. story, that was my wedding song, Chris, when we were waiting at the altar. Oh. When you were sat down doing your usher duties. There you go. Peace up, eight hand down. I'd have pretended to remember, but I can't remember yesterday. So we've just realised on the previous par three, we did go off the turf and we've just realised that we should have gone off. The... So we apologise for that. We do apologise. We'll go off the actual map this time. It was a lack of communication on our part there. Flying in, look at this. Speed. Oh, they're late for tea time. Speed Fruit kills. Down. Speed kills. Eighth hole, par three. One of my favourite holes in this golf course. A fun hole, but can be a treacherous hole and a really well bunkered green to a front left flag. This has got a wedge. Oh, be good. Be good. It's at it. Oh, Chris, it's delightful. Great shot. Got to be close. Hopefully it's not spun back too much. Now off the mat. Do you reckon this is the club? I reckon it is the club. A full one though. Like a full low one. Yeah. That's horrible and scabby, but it might work. I reckon that's going to be okay. That could be close if it's spun <laughs> nice. Not my best work. Hmm. Finger stinger. Right, Chris. Two well, good ones. I think it's yours, right, you know. Yours is a much mm. flatter putt. So I'll let you have a go at the own baller. Wow. We're three under, are we? Three under. We turned a corner. To say how hard it's playing here today as well, I always think this course plays very difficult. A lot of people I used to teach would have handicaps of kind of four or five here. And 
for me that's a scratch handicap at most places it does play quite tough go on then oh i tell you what you can't miss it's another one it's an own baller as well you know what that means the 6t is on fire and that's for sam miguel on a tuesday at 11 30. <laughs> Okay guys, final hole on this front nine, the ninth hole, because that's how it works. A lovely long par four, well bunkered on the fairways, both right and left. A huge bunker that should take in any stray shots for the approach and a really sloping back to front green. Chris, send us away. Let's try and miss young Radders on the right hand side. That is unbelievable. That's the best drive of the day. Yeah, what a shot that is. Give me an old tea. I've just realised I didn't have a tea left. Times are hard, friends, a few. Well, it's a fair way finding tea. I don't think I can get past that. You've absolutely nailed that, haven't you? It's a good effort, though. A good line, that. It's the fast line. The fast line. I am known as fast. Built for speed, aren't you? Speed kills, Chris. Correct. So four under par through eight. We've kind of weathered the storm a little bit here, both figuratively speaking and the weather speaking, hopefully. 10 under to beat. If we can just chuck a birdie on the next few holes, we're well up there to try and do that. We have a little bit of home course knowledge because I worked here for so long and you came and played with me quite a lot here, didn't you as well? I did, yeah. But what a course it is. I think if we, we do talk about the courses that maybe didn't allow us to film or aren't allowing us to film for the next 100, that's fine. That's their, that's their prerogative. Yep. Well, there's some fantastic courses that could well find the way in it next year or the year after. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this Fixby is a great course. Obviously, winter that we're playing it in now, you're still off the tee boxes. Greens are on. Greens are rolling pretty good today. Well, they are for me, maybe not for James. But... <laughs> and again, it's dry. That's the thing. We've had a lot of bad weather, but it's a place that stays dry. Fantastic looking course. It's even better than the summer. Oh. Chris, that is a massive drive for you. You've put a long way on me there. That'll do. Is and that I was down the fast line. Fast line? Obviously, just snuck in the rough. No, what number? Oh, number one. Lucky number one. Right, you can see back flag to the left. The bunker could be in play because of this wind. Yeah. Nice little chippy nine iron, do you think? I think that could be the call. I might go eight iron, actually. Flight at eight. Might go flight at seven. Oh. At 145, aren't we? Yeah, aim at the right side, ball above the feet. It's just turning. Turned it over. Oh, caught it, I think, Chris. Yeah. It caught it, didn't it? Mm. The wind. I'll stay on divot duty. The anxiety's kicking in. Oh, another Ferrari coming in, James. Oh, look at that. Red one this time. That's a work. That's a great shot. Ah, we'll take that. Delightful shot. I love what you can do. Divot duty, oh, come yeah, on, son. It's all distracted by the good shot. That's one thing I will say about these irons. We used the prototypes of these, and you can obviously see now where we're going with this. And I love how you can, just how versatile they can be, how you can play different shots with them. Very, very enjoyable and forgiving, but also very, very versatile. Ooh. Oh, I was pin high again. Were you? I thought you'd gone in the bunker, you know, but that's a great shot to get that flag high. Right. Obviously, I just scuttled a little seven in. I was scared of hitting young radders on the walk. Still have a crippling anxiety of anyone being in any position where I could hit them with a golf ball. Even more so when there's a dog. Yeah, I mean, I don't really mind it in a person, but a Labrador, it's just not yeah. fair, is it? Can't do that. Right, big right to lefter? Yeah, uphill again, pace. It's pretty straight, actually. I don't think there's much in it. Oh. You called it, didn't you? Greens are rolling nice for the time of year. Mm. Almost as good as Woolly Park. That's left, mate. <laughs> it is left. Left. The birdie runs over. Oh, dear. But, difficult hole, that. And the front nine is over at four under par. Not Six bad. Six required. Okay, 10th hole, start of the front nine. Just a nice 300 back yard par four. Even. Huh? Start of the back nine. Is it? Oh. Just a nice 300 yard par four. Stroke index 16, all out of bounds to the right, but all carry if you want to try and get up near that green. Chris leaders away. 
two tea back now. Oh, it's an Arnold Palmer one now. Not hey. sure I want to use that. AP. I've been saving them. The old APs. It's on string for you today, that. That should be. Very safe line, but a good line. Position A. Broken T though, devastating Oh, news. not the first one first it one. wonder that one. Well, you weren't breaking the T. <laughs> it's a chaser. It's nearly up there with yours. That was a terrible strike as well. Okay, two balls up that fairway. I dare say I'll be taking Chris's because it was a lot further up there. Gorgeous, I was going to say hotel, but gorgeous clubhouse in the background here. Guys, stay tuned because this could be the number one next 100 leaderboard, but it could be the last because we're just on that score where we could either kick on or falter. Chippy wedge? It's the elusive wedge again. It We're seems to be similar a... yardages, aren't we? What are your thoughts on the cop head and the black shaft? I do like it. I think it takes it to uh, another level, really. Another level. There you go. I've just got started to them straight now. Right, back flag. Greenkeepers have changed them. Fade in. Just to the left. Distance looks all right again. Yeah. Mr. Pin I just left every time. That's a good fly. That could be pretty close. Yeah, to be able to fly a wedge that low. Delightful somewhere. Good, isn't say. it? Good, impressive, happy, delirious. Yet again, another pin high shot. But James is closer again. So we'll kick it over. So, but we're whole fight's out. First it's just, I think it's day. been. We are up on the top here. We can see sunny Huddersfield. So. Amazing views with a drone this morning. Mad it up. Maybe the flag out didn't help. It was aggressive. It was aggressive, very aggressive. Come on, Chris. This has been his distance. Oh. Pace. Pace, pace, pace. Okay, still four under par. We couldn't get that one to go, unfortunately. We need to start making a couple. Plenty of par threes on this fat nine. It is a winter course, so the holes that do play a bit more dangerous out there aren't in place. So we have some really nice par three extra holes as well. So, par threes for everybody, Chris. It is, it seems that way. Seven iron is the club of choice. Amazing, he's got leaf blower out down there. It's 40 mile an hour winds. <laughs> Is it there? Is it the club? Go. No. I think you might need a six. I'm thinking that. I am thinking that. You... Well, that's a great shot. Be the club. Be the that club. Is a great shot. Just played a lot harder than what you'd think, doesn't it? It's only 150 yards, but that wasn't easy, was it? Nope. Not easy at all. Four more or three more par threes to come. Right, perfectly flag high for me there. Very, very happy with that. A gorgeous background to this green as well. I always forget just how spectacular looking it is here. It's not the pace, have I? It's not scared it. A lot of people might be wondering why I've changed from, oh, I've even missed that, changed from the Vegas putter that I put so well with last week into this. The reason being that was filmed in September. It's not live. A lot of people think these episodes are live and uh, unfortunately that's not how it works. Right, come on, this is all you now. The pressure is on. Oh, Great effort. Turn, did it? We move. Okay guys, the next hole is a long sweeping par five around the corner. We are off a of slightly forward tee with it being winter. So it with a big drive just over this left hand side, we should be able to get there in two. Apologies for any audio discrepancies you hear over the next few minutes. It does get better really, really soon. But as you can see a stunning view into Huddersfield here, Castle Hill on the horizon and a well bunker green. Let's hit some drives away and see if we can get this ball rolling. Chris absolutely nails that down the right hand side. And let's see if I can send it a little bit tighter towards that corner. The green keepers just at the right hand side said this was the perfect line. I think it's fair to say it was. I'll tell you what guys, the distance between our drives today, I've either put 50 on Chris 
or he's put 50 on me. There's been no, no none the same, has they? We've definitely, we've not got far into this par five. Obviously, it is a slightly forward tee with it being winter, but we're going to try and take advantage of that. We need something. We need a couple of really close iron shots and just try and roll the putts in. Because that's how golf works, isn't it? Oh, you go, Chris. I'm going to take stones out of my shoe. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Flag high and stopped wonderfully. Oh, mine's long here, yeah, look. Long left. You didn't have the minerals with the drive, did you? Dive, 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 dive! Oh, oh. oh you might have tried to sneak back that, didn't it? It did dive at the end, but that's a birdie. Yeah. Five under, we need five more birdies and we have one, two, three, six holes left. Plenty. Now rather amazingly, you won't believe this, but this is a temporary hole. This is one of the, the winter par threes that we do get here at Fixed Bit and I love it. It's a really, really nice par three, reminiscent of some quite famous holes with that bunker short. And it plays 160 yards. Let's see what we can do. It's another great strike, it's just left. Chris has got the old last today. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you that. That's a good ball fly. Oh, straight. Mr. Pinhai strikes again. It's a shame it's nowhere near. Feeble. Is it time? I think it is. Time to bring back the Vegas. <laughs> Here's the man. Oh. Maybe yours are just that bad. It turned because of I mean, potentially. You could duff that and it's gone in. <laughs> okay, now this par four is one of my favourite par fours, not only on this golf course, but in all of England. Those two bunkers are designed to swallow up your drives, and it's fair to say if you go in them, you're going to struggle to get on the green in two. The ideal drive today is at that pylon with a little bit of fade, and it's fair to say that that pin location makes this hole a lot harder because it's a double-decker Mackenzie Green, and it's downwind. So it's going to be very, very difficult to try and get that ball to stop anywhere near the flag. The bunkers shouldn't come into play. Let's see how we do. Oh, great ball. So he's thinking sandwiches there. Exactly where it needs to go, thought about anything else. Wow, that is absolutely massive. If we can see that zoomed in, oh, look at that, Chris. Your, I mean, man was man was towing like in play, but look at that. Similar to what he said on the previous part, and this is what we're left with back flag. Very difficult, might be easier to take my drive, you know. Oh, wow. Wind held it up. I think that's black high again. The ridge. Oh, it's certainly going to run up. Well, that could be very good. Could be good back, wouldn't it? It landed in the ridge. Good job, Chris. Isn't it? Rolling him in for fun. What about Chris rolling in the putts? That's six under par. We don't have far to go to get to the top of this leaderboard. This is another one of the temporary par threes, and I absolutely love this hole. Only short, 130 yards, incredibly well bunkered. A precise shot is required. Dope. 16th hole here at Huddersfield Golf Club, one of the most iconic holes, a slight dogleg to the right, the Emily Moore mast in the distance, that is your line with a little bit of fade, playing downhill and into the wind, so it's not going to be the shortest hole, an incredibly yeah. well bunkered green, should send it. Is that the line? That is absolutely perfect, yeah. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Leaker touch, but powerful. 
And let's be fair, we have to start attacking, don't we? We're, we're late on now in this round. Come on. It's trying. It's pretty good. You know what? That was a gorgeous ball flight. It's just left again. And he's on divot duty. Guys, comment below. Did you get a set? What number are you? Yeah, what num do you reckon you know what number you are when you order them or when they come? I think that's a surprise when they Imagine arrive. if you get 001. Holy grail, I would like 99. Yeah, both flag high. Chris, yours is... Uh, not sure I'd fancy that one, but... Guys, that's seven under par. If we birdie this one in the eagle the last, we are tied top of the leaderboard. It was always going to be kind of close. You can tell the wind's died down a bit now, so it's not as difficult. We planned to film this tomorrow, actually, but it's going to absolutely hammer it down, and we didn't want to come out in the rain, and because Bobby would melt, wouldn't he? And the 17th par three is my favourite hole on this golf course. You can see that flag is tucked away in that front corner, surrounded by the bunkers. This is going to take a very precise shot from 175 yards. That'll be good. Pretty good. Got a bit of distance. Stay there. Chance. Oh. Apologies about any audio issues, guys. We've just checked it and it, uh, it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. We've just checked them and uh, yeah, wasn't being the best. So apologies for that. We'll try and dub over it as and where we can. Obviously, difficult to film today in this wind without good audio. Most annoying thing in the world ever. It is audio. I've just bought five hundred pounds worth of new microphones, and no audio. Turn must be. Oh, I thought it was two in a row. I thought we found your distance finally. Finally, yeah. Right. Come on, Chris. We need this. Need this, and then an eagle on the last. A solemn Stephen. Not much in it. No, he actually straightened up at the end. Feeble. It did be. Feeble. Feeble. So we need an eagle on the last. For nine. For second place. Okay, the final hole here at Huddersfield oh, Golf Club, the 18th, 479 yard par five, stroke index 18. Chris, it's only the easiest hole on this golf course to date. Your line left of the pole, and as you can see, when you get over the treacherous abyss, what would you call it? And Top of the hill. <laughs> Top of the hill. <laughs> it yeah. opens up lovely to a well bunkered green inside of the gorgeous clubhouse, home of the Yorkshire Union of Golf Clubs. Stephen time. Get him on, get him on Sky Sports fans. No, I, I, I falter under pressure. Not like you, that is absolutely perfect. Well, it break me tea as well. Yeah, I don't know how Incy does it. No. That's you'd, down there then. You'd be a mess. You know what, say how hard it's played today. I think we've done really well. Mm. That's a cracking ball as well. Beautiful. What time is it? We've flown around, haven't we? Bobby's still rock climbing. Oh, rock climbing, Bob. Well, I'll tell you what, Chris, the amount of times I've stood on that tee and made a mess of it over the years, we've both stood there, stepped up. Oh, rose to the bombed. occasion. Yeah. Can't speak much going up this hill. No, I'm knackered as well. Here we go. Over the hill. Have you the your breath yet? Not really, no. Gorgeous hole, this, isn't it? Oh, oh, social. Oh, look at those. We've saved it for the last. Great shots there. Well done, team. Eagles on. Team next 100. Oh, yes. Get your irons. Probably gone. Mine, by the looks of it. Oh, is yours the furthest one? Yep. Of course it is. Mine's a two. Mine a one? No, yours is also a two. Oh, right. <laughs> so we don't know which one it is. Nine iron off that lie. Downhill lie. Such a horrible shot to finish on, isn't it? That such a shame. That is a horrible golf shot. <laughs> it's a perfect lead. Was got, it enough club? Yeah, I've got a good chance of a chipping. 
That is a horrendous golf shot. Sure, it's like 160 yards. Downhill, you've got it. In the locker, in the archives. I mean, maybe not in that direction. The worst thing is that wasn't even a shank, it was a good strike. Luckily, it didn't put Sheila off, she's played a delight. Well, the anxiety was there. How was it? Yeah. Again? Again. Well, do you want to get camera or go and get my ball? <laughs> right, I've been and got my ball, Chris. Oh, I just got you one it out. It was uh, a long way over there. I got you a freshie out. This for the eagle, this to get to nine. I think up and down and eight under is a good shout, you know. After that front nine. Really, we scored better on the front nine as well, didn't we? She's worrying. Strange world. Oh, it was bang on line, that. It was, wasn't it? I thought I was going to slam dunk it. Two very similar shots, just a bit attacking. There's not a lot to play for at this point unless you are going to attack, is there? So, no. we'll go with it. Right, and this will be potentially for an own ball birdie, which will take me to two. How many have you got, James? One. Oh, one. I've just kicked the camera. Every good stuff. Again, well, we ain't got Bobby, have we? Where's so. Bobby? Where's Bobby when you need rock climbing? That's where he is. Yeah, anyone else go rock climbing on a Tuesday morning? Oh, I've got a chance now. Oh, are you still going? Well, obviously, yeah. It's <laughs> an ball birdie. Eight under, you know. Not to be sniffed at. He has as well. Snuck in. Oh, back door job as well. Thank I'll you very much. I'll even get you some pork scratchings. Ooh, not bacon fries. Well done. Thank you very much. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed that. The brand new Tacomo 301 N100T Special Edition. They might have all gone already. If you did manage to get some, let us know in the comments. Let us know what number did you get on the hosel. And apart from that, we'll see you all at the same time next week for another episode of the next 100. Eight under par. It's not bad.